Hey guys, Jonathan Graham here. Today I'll be showing you how to fold this little three-dimensional diamond that I designed a little while ago. It's from a square of paper. This is sort of a shiny paper. This is a six-inch square. This is the six-inch square right here we're going to use today. It's Kami paper, white on one side, colored on the other. So to make this model, you want to start with the colored side down, fold diagonally in half, crease to a triangle. And unfold the triangle and turn it and fold it in half the other way, this time taking care to line up the corners. And this time you're going to keep it folded. You're going to take the right flap here, or the left, I'm going to go with the right, and fold it up to the top so this crease lines up here. You're going to flip it over, left to right, and take this one and fold up to the top. Fold this point to the top corner. So you have a square, and now we're going to take, turn it so that the opening is towards us, it's a little easier for this part, and we're going to take this point and fold it to here, and we're just going to make a small pinch right there, because when you unfold here, we're going to fold this point to that pinch mark. So it's right on the pinch on the edge of the crease like that. Now we're going to take this flap and fold it down to there. and fold this over. Unfold and you can see we have some pockets here. We're going to open up the colored pocket and tuck it inside. Just like that. Flip it over and do the same. This flap to this point. Pinching there. Unfold. Fold this point to the pinch on the edge. On the edge of that folded part. Take this point, fold it down to there, lining, keeping this edge aligned with this edge. Fold this over, creasing it sharply, unfold. And you can see again, we have a bunch of different layers of pockets. You want one that's colored and tucking that inside like that. So now we have what kind of looks like this shape. Now we're going to take these flaps here, and fold them one over like this, unfold it, oops, like this, and then I'm going to fold them back. Now we're going to make a crease going along this edge here to here, and also along there. So we're just going to go like this really sharply, unfold, and then we're going to take it and fold it along this side. And then, and then we'll just reverse those creases. And now we're going to make this into the 3D diamond. So we're going to open up these flaps, open up the model, so it looks sort of like a mouth, and you're going to squeeze it together. And you can see how it's taking shape. Now this one, we're going to tuck into this pocket here. The uppermost layer, tuck it in, and then wrap this around, and we're going to tuck it in the white, you can see there's the this white pocket here, the uppermost one, that's where you're going to tuck this into. And then, when, that, when you're finished with that, you're just going to go around and just sharpen the creases to make it more diamond shaped. And your 3D diamond from one square of paper is all done. Fairly easy. As you can see, you could probably use these as like Christmas tree ornaments or something. And hope you enjoyed making it. Please remember to rate, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you next time.